In this problem, we have to sketch the graph given by these parametric equations and also write them in rectangular form. And when we do the sketch, we'll also go ahead and indicate the orientation of the sketch. All right, so the first thing we'll do maybe is write it in rectangular form. So to do that, the first step will be to take this first equation and actually solve it for t. So to do that, we can add 2 to both sides, so plus 2, plus 2. So we get x plus 2 equals 4t. And to solve for t, we'll just divide everything by 4. So we'll have divided by 4, and then over here, I'll just divide each individual piece by 4. So we get t equals x over 4 plus 1 half. The next step will be to simply take this and plug it in here for t. And that will give us our rectangular equation. So y equals 2 parentheses. And let's see, x, uh, t is x over 4 plus 1 half. And we still have a plus 1 hanging out over here. So y is equal to, let's see, 2 times x over 4 is going to be, well, the 2 goes into the 4 twice. so That'll be x over 2. And then 2 times 1 half is, well, it's just 1, so plus 1. And then we still have this other 1 over here outside the parentheses. So if y equals, let's write it like this, 1 half x plus 2. So this would be the rectangular equation. So these are the parametric equations, and this is the rectangular equation. All right, this is just a line, right, mx plus b. Let's do a quick graph. So here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. And let's see, um, when x is 0, y is up here at 2. I'll just put a dot. And I guess um, if you were to set this equal to 0, you could find the other intercept. So it's not necessary, but why not? So 1 half x is negative 2. Multiply by 2, you get x equals negative 4. Yep, so over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, we have another dot. So it looks something like this. Notice I have not put arrows on the end of my line, because now we're going to indicate something called the orientation. So to find the orientation, what you do is you make a table. So t, and then x, and then y. And I don't have it on the screen, so I'm going to scroll up a little bit so we see it. Okay, so there's our x up here, 4t minus 2, and our y is 2t plus 1. Then you plot points in increasing values of t, and that will indicate the orientation on the graph. Again, in increasing values. So let's try like 0, and let's try, you know, 1. That should be good enough. So plugging in t equals 0 into our first equation for x, we'll get uh, 4 times 0 minus 2. So 0 minus 2, so minus 2. So I'm going to come over here and then just fill in the table. And then y, that'll be 2 times 0 plus 1. So 0 plus 1, so 1. So we're here. So when t is equal to 0, uh, we are right, let me use a different color so you can see it, Right, negative 2, comma 1, which actually our line <laughs> was a pretty good line. Um, so there is the point on the graph that corresponds to the value of the parameter t equals 0. Now let's do t equals 1. And again, we could have picked any number you know, bigger, and that would have been fine. Um, okay, so we'll have x equals 4 times 1 minus 2. So that's just 2. So I'm going to come over here and fill it in. And then y equals 2 times 1 uh, plus 1, so 3. So 3. So when t equals 1, we're at the point 2 comma 3. So 1, 2, so 2 comma 3. So maybe it's right here. So this is the ordered pair on the graph that corresponds to t equals 1. So see, as time passes, the parametric equations give you points on the graph. And you can use parametric equations to describe any type of path uh, in math. So you see that we're going from 0 to 1, so it's going this way. So you indicate that by drawing several arrows. 
this be a perfect graph. Right? We have the graph of the parametric equations and we have indicated the orientation. And again, this one is called the rectangular equation. I hope this video has been helpful.